All right, what's going on, everybody? It is Jeffers Craft, and I am back again with some more content for you. Um, so this is going to be a little bit different, I guess. I, I say that a lot, but I think uh, I wanted to explain exactly what I'm doing here. So, um, I got this idea. Me and my my son got this idea. We want to do a basically a series, a Minecraft series, and it's based off of this man's um world that he's building he's he's building he's created this whole world and he's added all kinds of cool stuff to it i mean it's not done yet but you know eventually when it's done we want to um go on there and create a whole series and and do some really cool stuff with this so um i just wanted to explain that to you guys before i actually got into th to this because also i'm gonna watch it he's done I don't know four or five videos now where he explains um the process he's going through to make this world and uh also he he does each specific biome and he'll show you in the videos and i wanted to basically watch it with you guys react to it and uh kind of segue eventually into my series that i'm going to be doing based off of of this man here this youtuber called trixie blocks and uh you know most most of you probably heard of him just because he's a pretty big youtuber like two million people follow him him and i definitely do too and also his uh his girlfriend or wife um has a video about the lore behind this whole world he's created so that being said um I'm going to be watching his the first video he did, and then we'll go through them. You know, I'll, I'll make other videos um, and go through each one that he did, okay? And uh, it's going to be awesome, guys. Hope you enjoy this. Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe, and we will get to it in a minute. Excellent! All right, you guys, here we are. So this is... Uh, I mean, I'll start. I'll start it in a second. We'll check it out. But see, this is, this is. Uh, he made this in World Painter, and he'll he'll um explain. But he put he separated each biome, and then he's gonna go through as we watch these videos. Um, he's gonna go through how he transforms each one of these, and it's pretty amazing. He even has like a mushroom island there. You can see the little one in the big in the in the bay. It almost looks like I don't know Pac Man shape, but it's pretty cool. So. Um, and I'll, I'll be stopping it along the way just to talk about it. All right. So here we go. Let's do it guys. All right. Spanning across 16,000 blocks, 10 different biomes and transforming every in-game structure. I'm upgrading literally everything in Minecraft to create the ultimate survival map. I started this project as a 1 million subscriber special with the aim to create a mega build that is also a completely playable. So, <laughs> So this is, uh, I just wanted to show you. So, so he's built some pretty amazing things. This is not part of what he's doing now, but he's just showing you what, um, what he's made before. And I mean, man, he's transformed, you know, pretty big YouTubers worlds and things like that. And it's so cool. Um, this guy has some really good building skills. He, uh, pays attention to detail. He's, he just knows what he's doing and i'm so excited to be able to because yeah, he because what's going to happen is is he's going to make um after he finishes this survival world ultimate survival world he's gonna make it available for download on his patreon right and uh so i'm gonna grab that thing i don't mind paying the five bucks or whatever it is and grab that thing and and we're gonna be able to adventure on it man so and did you see that what did he say 16 million blocks uh, in world painter man all right so here we go survival map now usually the builds that i create aren't really survival friendly and they're on a much more massive scale the purpose of this project was to create a custom map containing a selection of different biomes and transform all of minecraft's default structures and environments to create one epic and playable map so today, we'll be planning the project, creating the map, placing all of the vanilla structures, and transforming our first biome. And if you want to get the world download once the build is complete, then make sure you get this video to 80,000 likes and I'll transform the rest of the island. To begin planning this massive project, I started to sketch out a general layout for the island and all of the biomes. 
choosing only the most appropriate ones for this map. Now I did my best yeah, to position yeah. each of these biomes logically in relation to one another, so that way you won't be walking directly from the snowy tundra into the scorching desert. I thought right. the plains biome was Makes a good hub for the center of the map, which will actually be transforming later on in this video. Now as you can see, I added some little symbols next to each of the biome labels, as I plan to use themes in each biome, which I'll reveal a little bit more about once we've created Man, like I said, he, he does such a good job planning this stuff and and watch how he puts it together as we go, man. He just puts it together so amazingly. Like, I don't know if I could actually do this, you know? I mean, this would take me, I don't even know. So anyway, go here we go. <laughs> the map in World Painter. Now with our map planned out, I jump into World Painter to gradually create our custom island and slowly make this world a reality. Now, I originally planned for this custom world to be a fair bit smaller, but <laughs> I ended up miscalculating. Now, I'm sorry to keep interrupting, but man, he does, he knows how to use this program. This is World Painter, if you've never heard of it. I mean, you can make custom maps and stuff for Minecraft, um, but he knows how to use this really good. So, I mean, that, that, that helps. He has a lot of experience at how to use this and World Edit, which is, an, is a mod that he uses to, you know, create structures and, and terra, terraform the world. But, um, so anyway, here we go. I'll, I'll. Try not to interrupt too much, but I just want to. At certain points, I want to point out some uh, some things about this, you know, as we go. So here we go. Calculating the proportions of the world and made the map two times bigger. <laughs> two times bigger <laughs> I than what the mountain you... range for the snowy biome. Add in some rivers and a lake to break up the landscape a little bit. Dig out a grand canyon for the mesa biome. That's add awesome. Some sand dunes to the desert before finally painting the landscape and separating them into their specific biome types. See, now, he knows as you can it. See, Look at this. This map is enormous. I can't actually even load the whole thing in to show you guys. Look at that, man. So just a tiny snippet of what to look forward to. In the Mesa biome, I'm planning to build a bustling Wild West town. Yeah. A that's, and some huge mines. That is where awesome. You may just find some secrets. I have so much story planned for this world, including an abandoned zombie infested village in the Darkwood Forest, various ancient jungle tribes in dispute over their territories, something mysterious hidden in the snow. Hell mountains, yeah. Maybe even a Bob Ross reference in the tiger forest and so much more <laughs> i'll even be including treasure hunts for you to embark see that on and diary entries from the villagers so you okay can... okay so here we go that that's that's a good good thing to to point out here so this is going to be a, a perfect survival world man um especially for somebody like me that likes to create content with a story based you know with a storyline um so he's adding maps and and uh <clears throat> treasure hunts and and uh, you know an end lore to this which we'll get into eventually so here we go you can really immerse yourself in the story and uncover the hidden mysteries of the map and there's going to be lots of secrets added to this map that i'm not even going to show you guys i'd Hell love yeah. to hear in the comments what you guys would like me to include and i tell you what while you're down there hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with the project and be the first to know when it's available to download. yeah guys subscribe to this guy this completely alone with the help of my girlfriend in the planning process so your support is really appreciated so now that we have our giant island so look at how he does biomes, this it's time to paste in some vanilla structures ready for their upgrades now as you can see i start by pasting in all of the villages in each biome so he copy paste versions of minecraft's vanilla villages for the biomes where they don't naturally spawn next i add in all of the pillager outposts in most of the biomes which will also be transformed based on the theme of the environment in which they are located awesome and finally, I place in all of Minecraft's larger structures, including the Desert Temple, the Ocean Monument, and a Ruined Portal into their corresponding biomes. I'm going to be adding some larger custom structures to biomes that don't include... So just if, if you're... I mean, you probably understand what he's saying, but just in case you're, you're not sure what he's saying, he basically is, you know, taking vanilla minecraft structures and copy and pasting them into this world because he created this right and then he's going to basically re reform them make them into something better right so right now that's all he's doing is he's transferring things and he's putting all the pillager outposts you know that even though they don't spawn in those spots he's putting putting them there and then he's gonna you know change them make them better so okay so here we go i'll try to stop interrupting naturally generating ones 
Next up, it's time to add in some vanilla trees. The plains biome doesn't really spawn many trees, but I thought I'd place in some oak trees in small clusters across this section of the map. Now for the remaining biomes, I add in the appropriate trees, creating dense forests, similar nice. to how they would spawn in a naturally generated mine. This is gonna be so nice. Now that our vanilla map is ready for a big transformation, let's get started with the plains. Now for the transformation of the planes, I wanted to keep things relatively simple and true to the original game. Keeping things a little less on the crazy side just makes sense for this biome. Given that the planes is the most basic and common biome, and particularly as it's a sort of central hub to the map, and the first biome I'm transforming. Plus, these more simple upgrades will be something that you can use as a reference to build in your own survival worlds. Yeah, so now he's going to start transforming. Now the first thing we've got to transform are the oak trees that we've just scattered across the plains. In the background, you can see our vanilla oak trees, and in front of them, I start building up three different size variants. Look at that, man. With the smallest. I then create the largest one, and finally, one that sits somewhere between the two. So he hand-built three Next, I go different the size oak trees. Next, the default trees with our new custom-built ones. And then he replaces them. a fair amount of inspiration from Zelda Breath of the Wild for this place nice. biome. So to help populate and decorate the biome further, I created a few small bushes and custom boulders to help break up the dead space. Awesome. I paste in clusters of bushes and boulders around our oak trees and include a few larger... See what I mean? Hold on, guys. <laughs> See what I mean? He pays attention to detail, like, like completely. You know, it makes you excited to want to just play in this world, right? All right boulder clusters as well. In the center of our plains, I build a raised section of land for a ruined portal. Here we go. In vanilla the, Minecraft, the ruined portal. relatively frequently and pretty much anywhere. However, for this custom world, we're only going to feature one, and of course, this one was going to be a fair bit bigger than the ones we usually get. Nice, I build dude. up two pillars either side of the portal and play with the design a little bit before settling on this stone archway to house our ruined portal. Looks now, good. If you compare this design to the original, it actually resembles it rather well. Obviously, just in a much more dramatic and upscaled way. I build the main staircase leading up to the portal and add in a few extra destroyed pillars for decoration. Obviously, there's plenty of obsidian here, which will make it much easier to build a world. Look at it, it's leaking in. Survival. But you still need a diamond pickaxe if you plan to do that. I add debris from the pillars and finish the portal design with some of the nether leaking into the overworld. At That's the other end of our beautiful. Planes, on the edge of the biome, we place down a pillager outpost. Again, these structures tend to spawn in pretty much every biome. However, I always thought that there should be more to these outposts than just a single tower, which is what I plan to add in this transformation. Yeah, so he makes it awesome. Design, I wanted to stick to something similar to the vanilla version. However, I decided to swap out the dark oak materials for their lighter oak wood variants to match the sources of wood accessible in the biome. I top the tower off with a small flag to symbolize a pillaged faction before relocating the tower slightly onto the cliff. That's awesome. Biome. Right on the cliff side. The small builds that can actually sometimes spawn with an outpost tower. So I start off by upgrading their tents to provide them with a little bit more shape. I only slightly upgrade the training dubbies as there's not much more that I could do with them, especially at this small scale. Next, for the cages, I change out the wood variants and make them look more cage-like. And lastly, I add in a couple of my own decorations, including a fire pit and some bundles of oak logs. I reposition our newly transformed decorations to fit around the tower before surrounding the campsite with a spiked wood wall. I love how he shows you like in fast time, of course, but he shows you everything he does. Like he, he basically, you know, on a, on the big scale of the world, of course you got to use programs, but he, he basically is building these things. You know, he's taking time and building these things and he's, I mean, look at how awesome they are, man. I'm just amazed at this guy. This guy is awesome. All right, here we go. For a handmade look and have this area act as a temporary fortified base for the pillagers. As an additional line of defense for the outpost, I include two guard towers that somewhat match the design of the main tower to sit either side of the entrance. That's Finally, cool. we move on to transforming our Oak Plains village, starting with the first profession-based building, the Fisherman's House. Firstly, I branch off from the lake with a small river leading to a pond next to the village. Next to it, I take one of our village houses and repurpose the house for our fishermen to live in. I stick to primarily oak wood and cobblestone for this design. However, I opt for a spruce roof, which I use for the remaining village buildings as well. 
I build a shallow sloping roof with a connecting balcony before repositioning the house and connecting it up with a small jetty or pier. Branching off from this, I create a small winding pathway leading to the lakeside to provide a few different fishing spots. I build a second walkway, connect it up to the path, and build two small fishing boats in the shallow water. See, he doesn't leave any the detail out. The profession themed builds in this village is a windmill for the local crop farmer. Once again, I take one of the regular village buildings and repurpose it for this specific role. Obviously, this transformation looks oh, no nothing big deal. like the original house, but farmers don't really get a nice building to live in. They tend to just work on the farms all day. So I figured a quaint windmill would fit perfectly. Oh, using just no big deal, right? I build the tower of the windmill using oak wood variants, accenting it with that's awesome and a roof to match the rest of the village. I play around with the blades before settling on this design featuring some wool. Now to the right of the windmill, I wall off a section using stone variants to create a dedicated bee farm. I decorate it with the small custom oak trees we previously made, as well as some bushes and flowers. I add in a pathway and next to the farm, convert one of the small village houses into a house for a beekeeper. Now this nice, is actually one of the villager professions, but I thought I'd add it anyway. Yes. For the large space in front of the windmill, I of course had to add a crop farm, as the village needs another food source besides fish. Oh yeah, and these plains villagers are exclusively veggie boys and pescatarians. Pretty environmentally friendly compared to the wild west town. But we're gonna visit Look at that, that farm. Time. Anyhow, these rough stone walls fit perfectly with this simple building style and allow you to build an easy and relatively good looking farm. Yeah, I it is. the farm up into three fields. One for wheat, one for potatoes, and another for carrots, before branching off with a stream for our water source. Unbelievable, bro. Now, with our farm all done, I wanted to work on the layout of the remainder of the village and create some new, more natural looking paths. I upgrade that small oak tree in the middle for one of our new custom ones and create some new village bell designs to fit beneath, and gradually repositioning the rest of the village. For our next villager profession building, we're upgrading the library. Now this upgrade stays pretty true to the original, with really minor changes being made. Mostly just by adding a bit more complex detailing to the walls, an interior, and of course, adding a new spruce wood roof. Before moving on from this building, I topped it off with a small bell tower, mostly just for that extra little bit of detail. That looks so good, man. Now we're almost done with our profession See how he just themed buildings. But I decided to transform totally this transforms the village building for a stonemason. The vanilla, the, uh, the vanilla structures, man. Replacing most of the wood with a mixture of stone brick and cobblestone blocks to fit the theme of the building. I split the double roof in half and repurpose the second half for a small outcropping roof to shelter one of the building entrances. Out front, I built some custom boulders for our stonemason. And to add to that even further, created this miniature quarry at the back of the building, featuring this large, almost medieval looking pulverizer to break up the large boulders dug up from the ground. That's awesome. I thought these little stools. Did you see how he used the, uh, the anvil here? Let me just go back just a bit here. Where is it? It's like right here. Further created this miniature quarry at the See how he used the anvil right here? Like a rock crusher. That's such a cool detail. Right on. I just had to show you that. That, that I mean this guy, I mean I'm I'm going crazy but but uh you know this guy it just knows how to how to make Minecraft amazing, you know what I mean? And so that's why I chose and I decided to to do my series using this world, man, because it's the perfect thing. It's like set up for it, you know? So here we go. The back of the building, featuring this large, almost medieval looking pulverizer to break up the large boulders dug up from the ground. I thought these little stalls could do with an upgrade. So I created a nice courtyard for a proper market where villagers could trade and sell goods. The back of the market features our final profession based building, a traveling wagon for the cleric. Now clerics are actually religious leaders and would typically spawn in a church, which we actually have in this village as well. However, I decided I wanted to create this wagon for the cleric instead because of the mysterious and magical items that they can typically sell in game. I That's thought cool. it would be more interesting to make them into these mysterious traveling merchants that sell items across the map and fit with that style a little bit better. 
This also lends itself for some great backstory later on in the project. Nice. I complete the merchant's wagon with a couple of horses attached to the front of it, before adding a cart with supplies in the center and finishing with a few benches either side of the park. It makes like a whole marketplace, now for dude. Our final notable building of the village, it was time to transform the church. As I mentioned earlier in this now video, watch this. my plan for the plains biome was to transform the structures here to mimic the style of the vanilla default structures and theme the structures in the remaining biomes differently. So perhaps I could feature some of those places of religious worship in those biomes. I also previously stated that I'd be using Breath of the Wild as heavy inspiration. Yeah, in look at that. And realized that this church somewhat resembled that of the Temple of Time. Temple of Usually Time, yeah. Builds, I tend to go much bigger. So being a little bit restricted to the size of these vanilla structures was look actually at that. quite difficult. That's so good. This church, as the original is absolutely tiny. <laughs> Obviously, this upgraded church ended up being a fair bit bigger, more like a cathedral, but still felt small compared to how I usually build. I detail it with a spruce roof to match the rest of the village and top it off with a final small That's tower. so good. The remaining houses of the village weren't profession themed. The rest of the job related buildings will feature in different villages across the map. But for these last few building designs, I stuck to the same oak wood walls and spruce wood, each of them varying slightly in shape and layout. With all three designs complete, I add them around to the rest of the village. And finally, for some finishing touches, I upgrade the small fountain outside the church, place some barrels of hay, whip up a small lamppost design, transform those small flower pots, and lastly, scatter around some shrubbery to decorate. Love that but farm, that, man. We've upgraded our plains biome. That was amazing. Look at that place. It's alive. It's alive, dude. Those trees are so good. I can't wait. Cannot wait to play this, dude. And look at that. Well, wait till you see. There's a lot more. I mean, we'll... We're going to watch each video, man. I'm going to do a reaction to each one of these. I hope you're all excited to see where this enormous project takes I us. am, brother. And importantly, get the world download so you can play it for yourself. Remember to get this video to 80,000 likes. Yeah, that was easy. Suggestions down below in the comments, and let's make that happen. Now, again, I mentioned it briefly in the last video, but considering this is technically the 1 million special video, thank you for helping me reach this massive milestone. Honestly, oh, yeah. it still hasn't really sunk in. That is a colossal number of you that liked my content enough to stick around. I've been doing YouTube for eight years now, and I never actually thought that I'd get to the point that I'm at now. So truly, thank you for your support. Anyway, enough soppy stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, man, that is so amazing. All right, guys, so... Um, hope, hope you enjoyed this man and go check out Trixie blocks. I'll put his, uh, I'll put the link to his channel in my description for sure. And thanks to him for all of this hard work he's done. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to react to each one of his videos. He's not done with this world yet, but he's gotten pretty far along. So, you know, and eventually when he is done, I am downloading this world and we are starting a survival series on this. So look forward to that. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate all the support. We will see you guys next time. Bye.